Hi everyone, thank you all for being here today. I appreciate it. Uh, today I'm here to talk to you about Saudi Arabia. Have you guys ever been to the Middle East? No. 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 Well, I'm, well, I'm going to tell you all about it today. Uh, first of all, I'm going to talk to you about religion. And sec uh, second of all, I'm going to talk to you about okay, the economy. Uh, third of all, I'm going to talk to you about women's rights. And then we're going to talk about the driving ban and the entertainment in Saudi Arabia. Um, let's start with religion. Um, as you know, I don't know if you've heard on the news, I know the Middle East gets a bad rap, um, just generally speaking, but uh, I'm here to tell you that's not the case. Uh, the Middle East is a fun place to travel, the culture is amazing, uh, the food is amazing. Um, let's start with religion. Um, Saudi Arabia is home to two of Islam's holiest cities. Mecca is where Prophet Muhammad was born, and Medina is where he was buried. All uh, Saudi citizens are Muslims. Uh, let's talk about the economy now. Um, I don't know. If, I don't know if you guys. Um, I don't know if you've heard of Saudi, Saudi Aramco. It is the world's largest oil and gas company in the world. They make five hundred billion dollars a year. Uh, my dad actually worked for Aramco for about twenty-five years, and he got to retire at the age of forty-five. So I don't know. I wish I could get a job at Aramco. Uh, it is the most profitable company in the world. Um, it is, it's a great company to work for. Uh, I've got a couple of cousins, actually three cousins, who work for Saudi Aramco, and, and they love it. Um, let's talk about, now that we've talked about the economy, let's talk about services. Um, because Saudi Arabia uh, relies on oil to make, um, to make its money, uh, we get to benefit from that. We get free colleges. Um, actually, when you go to college in Saudi Arabia, you get an allowance. You get about $250 just to attend college, and it's all paid for, and they even, they even give you your textbook for free. Uh, we get universal health care. Um, it's government-funded health care, and it's an amazing health care system. Um, so it's, a, it's, it's not bad at all. Uh, we also don't have any taxes. There's no income tax. Um, but that's changing slowly now. Uh, they've introduced grocery taxes, um, but it's not it's not the like income tax. Um, let's talk about women's rights in Saudi Arabia. Um, there was a there was a ban up until uh, June twenty fourth, twenty eighteen, but that ban was lifted uh, less than a year ago. Uh, women in Saudi Arabia enjoy more more rights. And they um, they get to have more job opportunities, so it's a so it's changing, and it's a good thing um, to have in Saudi Arabia. Uh, let's talk about um, entertainment. Uh, there was a 35-year ban that was that changed in, in on April 18th, 2018, and they started the first movie theater was uh, was opened in Riyadh last year. And the, the movie Black Panther was the, uh, the first movie to be shown. So I haven't personally experienced that yet because I haven't been back in almost four years. But I'm glad to see that the, uh, the kingdom is changing in so many ways and it makes me happy. Um, and let's move on to uh, the Q&A section. Do you guys have any questions for me from what you've learned so far? Yeah, just one question. Yep, please. Uh, how many poor workers live in Saudi Arabia? Uh, actually, that's a good question. Uh, there is, uh, there are eight million foreign workers in Saudi Arabia right now. Um, the majority of them um, come from countries like the U.S., the U.K., uh, Australia, uh, India, and uh, it's great to see that in, in so many ways because you get to see diversity in the workplace. Um, so it's, uh, it's it's amazing to be part of the workforce in Saudi Arabia. Do you guys have any other questions? Yes, I do have one. Please. Is it okay for a non-Muslim to go over there? Absolutely. Uh, you can go visit. They started issuing tourist visas uh, very recently, but you just can't. Unless you're Muslim, you can't visit Mecca or Medina. But other than that, you can visit anywhere else. You can just enjoy what the country has to offer. Uh, there's so much history. There's a lot of desert. There's massive shopping malls. So it's just, it's great, you should, you should, yeah, if you haven't been in the Middle East, I highly suggest that you go and visit and, and enjoy it. 
do you guys have any other questions? Yes, yeah, you said that your father worked at Saudi Aramco. Correct. So is it easy to get a job at Saudi Aramco for Saudi citizens or foreign workers? Uh, actually, it really uh, it depends on your uh, qualifications and experience. Um, if I mean, if you if you had a U.S. degree, that uh, that, that definitely counts for something. Um, but yeah, it depends on your experience. It, um, they definitely try and attract more foreign workers um, to, to, to come and live in Saudi Arabia. I, actually, I was actually friends with um, a few Americans back in the day. Um, so yeah, I mean, yeah, please, you know, if you want to, you know, if you want to apply, go for it. Check out, check out their website and, and see for yourself. Any other questions? Well, thank you all for coming here today. I hope you, uh, you've enjoyed my presentation. I, I, I really hope you've learned something. And if you have any questions, like uh, any questions that come later on, just, uh, just, uh, just ask me. Mm -hmm. Thank you.